If you love the ISUPK, stay in the loop. Go to Google Play and download the new user-friendly One West ISUPK app and get exclusive footage to our online classes and street speaking videos. Also, the Black Watch podcast, hosted by Commanding General Yohanna, the leader of the Nation of Israel. It's real easy to stay in tune with the ISUPK and the information we're putting out. Just go to Google Play and type in One West UPK app and hit download. Let's get it in. Don't be left out. Yo, get a powerful priest and prophet a hand, man. That brother came out here and dropped it absolutely heavy, bringing the truth to our people. That's because right. our people need to hear the truth, man. Hey, Shalom, DC. We are the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Started out of One West. 125th Street out of Harlem, New York, under commanding General Yohanna. We are not affiliated with no other Israelite group or Christian organization, man. We teach the truth according to the Bible. Hold this book up, brother. According to the Bible. I know y'all hear what we say up here and think that we are a hate group, that we making these words up when we are reading from the very same Bible that is in your mother's house, that's in your grandmother's house, that's in that church that you go to. But you know why it sounds strange to you? Because they don't read the Bible in church. They don't teach what this really says in church. So when you encounter men of the Lord who actually open the book and study it and bring out what it says, now you're upset. Now it sounds strange. Well, guess what? The Bible has always said what we're saying, man. This Bible is not a, a rewritten book. The Bible is the number one best-selling book of all time. You probably didn't even know that. Right. And guess what? The whole time it's been talking to one set of people, man. Throughout the entire Bible, it's talking to one set of people. The nation of Israel. The children of Israel. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. O ye Israelites, the Hebrews. This Bible is talking to one set of people. And you know what's so sad? What's so sad is that we never knew that this Bible is talking to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We never knew that we are those Israelites this book is referring to. Right. I know that sounds funny. I know that sounds strange. Because how can the people that live in the ghettos, in the burials, on the reservations, in the favelas in poverty, in crime-riddled neighborhoods, be the people of this holy book? Right. Well, guess what? That is proof that we are the people of this book. And I'm going to show you in the Bible that we are the real Jews. You understand? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's holy people. You understand? You ever wonder why we are the best in everything we do? Black people grow up in the ghetto eating the worst food, drinking dirty water. You understand? Growing up without parents, smoking, getting hot in our early ages. We grow up and have lives that nobody else could even fathom what we suffer. And guess what? We still produce the greatest athletes, entertainers, scientists. We produce greatness because we are the Lord's children. You understand? Read that scripture. Salaki. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. The brother already know where I want to go with it. He knows this is my favorite scripture, man. And you should love this scripture because it's talking about you. Let me show you what this Bible says. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people. The Bible says blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are a holy people. What does the word holy mean? Christians couldn't even tell you what holy means. They think holy is running around some church, jumping up and down, acting the damn fool, when holy means something. You know, words mean things, folks. That's the purpose of words, to convey messages. And the word holy, translated to the original Hebrew, is kudash. And it means to be separate. The Bible is saying blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are a separate people. We are separate. When we suffer, we suffer by ourselves. We join everybody's movement. We join Stop Asian Hate. And when we left that protest, 
Only us went back to the ghettos. Only us went back to roach-infested and rat-infested houses while we rallying with the Asians. When we went and held hands with the oppressor, talking about Black Lives Matter with these oppressors, we were the only ones that went back to neighborhoods where the police murdered us. Them white kids, them white college students didn't go back to neighborhoods where they had to worry about the police murdering them. But we joined everybody's fight because we don't understand. We are God's people and they understand we're God's people. You understand? The Bible is trying to tell us we are separate in everything, man. We are separate. Keep reading. Until the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. A what? Special people. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are what? Special people. The Bible says God has chosen blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to be a special people. You want to look and, and wonder why we do the things that we do. Everybody copies black people. The whole earth. They talking about stop Asian hate when they got Chinese people right now putting pipe cleaners in their hair trying to get afros like a black man. When they got white women injecting their lips and going and spending thousands of dollars to look like a black woman. Right. Everybody wants to be us, but nobody wants to suffer the way we suffer. You ask anybody, would you trade places with a black man in America? And they'll tell you, hell no. They'll laugh in your face. Why would I do that? Because everybody knows we are separate when it comes to how we struggle in this place. And we are separate in how we shine. Even in our lowest condition, we still shine. Just imagine if we were to come back to what the Bible says and acknowledge that we are special. Keep reading. To be a special people unto himself, above all people. Equal to. Above all people. I have a dream that little white boys and little white girls can hold hands at the table of brotherhood. Martin Luther King's dream was a sin against God. Right. Because he told black people to want to be equal when God said we are what? Above all people. It's not my words. It's in the same Bible that you got in that stinking whorehouse called the church. Right. That you got in that stinking pedophile playhouse called the Catholic Church. Right. That you got in that trap house called the, the Islam Mosque. You understand? This Bible is the truth. And if you want to find the solution and the answer to the problems in the black community, you must first open this book. Anybody claiming to have the answers for our people and they don't mention this book, they're lying. They don't have the answers, Sway. They don't know. Right. You understand? The answer starts with our book. This is our book, man. We got to be proud about it and claim it. Because right now, there's a people running around the earth claiming to be you, black man. Claiming to be you, Hispanic man, Native American, Indian man. There is a people on the face of the earth who live deliciously with an identity that does not belong to them. There's a people right now that claim to be God's holy children. And guess what God is showing them? God is showing them, you're not my children. That's right. right. You understand? Right now in Israel, they're fighting back and forth. The Israelis and the Palestinians. You know why? You don't know why they're fighting back and forth? Give me Habakkuk 2 and 12. You probably didn't know. The Bible has the solution. And the Bible tells you why the Israelis and Palestinians are going back and forth and fighting. But nobody wants to read the Bible. Nobody wants to hear the truth. Well, guess what? We specialize in telling the truth out here. We didn't come out here to lie. We didn't come out here to put on a show. I know y'all wanted to see us in five-piece suits, wearing pink and green and all type of bright colors, and God said, oh, get her out of here, and all that garbage. Right. We didn't come out here to do that. You understand? We came out here to tell the truth according to the Bible, because clearly nobody is doing it. If these churches were telling the truth, why isn't the black community fixed yet? When the black community is filled with churches, nobody else has churches on every corner in the black community except us. You understand? What, let this noise pass. You got that? Go ahead, read. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 12. Woe to him that built up a town with blood. Anybody knows what the word woe means? Any old English scholars out here? Any Shakespeare, Shakespeare thespians? You understand? I'll break it down for you because we actually study. Woe is old English for destruction. That's what woe means. W-O-E. 
And the Bible is saying, woe, destruction, keep reading, woe to him that buildeth a town with blood. The Bible says destruction to him that buildeth a town with blood. What? Let's talk about it. How did the so-called Israelis, the so-called Jewish man, get that land? How did, how did they get that land? Anybody know some history? I'll tell you how they got that land. Bloodshed. They got that land from their forefathers murdering our forefathers. And we fled that land in 70 AD when the Romans sacked Jerusalem. Now listen, this is history. I don't see nobody with no pads and pins out here. You ain't gonna get this at the college you go to. You spending all that money in that damn university just to be lied to. They ain't gonna teach you this in the colleges. You understand? Check this out. In 70 AD, the, the Romans sat Jerusalem. Jerusalem is our homeland. We're not African, man. Africans will tell you, you're not me. You're not us. Right. We're not the same people. Right. That is white supremacy propaganda. Because the white man will rather us be everything but who the Bible says we are. They'll let you, as a grown black man, think you a woman in America. You can, you can identify as a six-year-old white girl in America. But as long as you don't say, I am the real Jew. Right. And it's okay. Well, guess what? We coming out here to bring out the truth according to the Bible. You understand? And in 70 AD, the Romans sacked our city. They invaded Jerusalem. And many of us fled into Africa. But the ones of us that didn't make it, we were either killed or took into slavery. And they shipped us all over the world. That's why in those Roman Colosseums, do you know who the gladiators were? They don't tell, listen, the white man whitewashed history. They don't tell you that they were putting black men as slaves in those Colosseums, fighting animals and lions for the entertainment of white men. It, don't, it, don't, it shouldn't sound far-fetched. Black men willingly go and get examined to be in some damn football team to entertain white men. You understand? America is Rome. America is Egypt. America is Greece all over again. That's right. You understand? This place is the place of our captivity. The same way Rome was the place of our captivity. You understand? Our true land is in Jerusalem. And the people that inhabit that land right now are imposters. You understand? They are thieves and liars. The Bible calls them that. It's not my words, what the book says. And this is what the Bible says about those people that's in Israel right now. Read it from the top. Tell them where you at so they know it's in the Bible. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 12. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood. Woe to them that build a town with blood. You white men murdered my forefathers to get that land that you in now. That's why you are seeing destruction. That's why you got to build an iron dome. You understand? You know what the Iron Dome is? Anybody know? Anybody care to break it down? Anybody know what the Iron Dome is? The Iron Dome is an anti-missile de missile defense system, you understand, that protects Israel from rockets and missiles. You understand? They said it's one of the most technologically advanced air defense systems in the world. Why do you think a people would need such a strong defense? I'll tell you why because they murdered to get that land, and they don't belong in that land. You understand? The same way America built this place off of bloodshed. How did they get America? They didn't get America by signing peace treaties and being nice and ingenuity. They got America from the oppressor being who he's always been, a barbarian, a savage, a Neanderthal caveman. Right. You understand? You want to see his true nature, go back and watch all those news clips on January 6th of how they did their own Capitol building. If they would do their own institution of government like that, what do you think they did to us in Jerusalem when they took our land? Well, guess what? The Bible says destruction to them that established a town with blood. Destruction is coming for America by the hands of God. The same way destruction is coming to Israel and those imposters because they got that land through bloodshed, man. Manifest Destiny, my tale, man. Manifest Destiny is a white supremacy propaganda ploy. Another thing for the oppressor to justify him being a devil. Read it from the top. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood. 
Establishing a city by iniquity. And established a city with iniquity. Iniquity is sin, wrongdoing. And brother, America was established with nothing but sin. You know what they did to our people? Where did slavery sign that? Where's it at? Right there, next to Look at what America did to our people to establish this great nation of theirs. But you know what, if we bring it out, they don't even give a damn. No. They don't care. Right. Well, they say it's a necessary evil. You gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. They got all these nice sayings when it comes to destroying our people. But when Osama bin Laden blew up them damn towers, it was no talking there. No bullshit. It went over there and they defended their people. Because it ain't no such thing as breaking eggs to make an omelet when it comes to their people. Right. But they can spare a couple of our lives. You understand? They can kill 77 million Native Americans. They can kill 99 million black people. And they look at it like, oh, well, you know it's in the past. Some devil came up earlier and he said, do you have any modern examples of slavery? We don't need modern examples. You still didn't apologize for the old example. Right. Why the hell are we talking about new stuff? You need to acknowledge the old stuff first. But they'll never do that. It's not in them to do that because they are a people full of iniquity. Right. And that's why they use iniquity to establish America and Israel. You understand? Like that land is so disgusting because the people that are in that land should not be there. You're going to read about how glorious Israel was when the real Israelites were in the land. You're going to read about how great our kingdom was when King Solomon, a black man, was in rulership. And now go look at it now. You know, Israel got the biggest gay pride parade in the, in the world. Right. When we are people, according to the Bible, that are against homosexuality, but they take our identity, they take our land, and they fill it with sin. They fill it with iniquity. And for that, Whoa to these people, man. Don't be surprised when you hear about World War III breaking out. Don't be surprised. I know we live in our lives as the slaves in America. So our minds only go past how I'm going to pay my bills. Well, guess what, black man? Your time of suffering is coming to an end. Your life that you living of scrambling and scrapping and jugging and jiving and all that garbage to make it is coming to an end, man. God sees the struggle of our people. Give me Exodus 1 and 9. God sees how we struggle. God sees those police officers abusing our people. God sees the politicians making laws against our people. God sees the Karens and the Kevins and how they always show hatred to our people, man. Nobody's going to love us. It's up to our people to decide we have to love ourselves the way the Bible told us to. You understand? Get that. Get that. Read that for me. This is what the Greeks did to us. You want to know what these oppressors done to us? You're looking at America and you think this is new. You think black men getting killed by a white man is new? You think gentrification is new? Nah, they did it to us even with the Greeks and Romans. You think abortion is new? Read. First Maccabees chapter three, verse 37. They shed blood, innocent blood on every side of the sanctuary. They did what? That, sorry. Thus they shed innocent blood on every side of the sanctuary. The white man did what to black people? Shed innocent blood on every side of the sanctuary. This is what these Greeks did to our people. You understand? Like you don't understand, we trying to fight tooth and nail to change the white man when he has always been the same. He hated us as the Romans, he hated us as the Greeks, and they hate us as the Americans. And the same way they shed our innocent blood in the time of the Greeks, they do the same thing now. George Floyd, Eric Garner, that's America, keep reading. And the founding is so much that the inhabitants of Jerusalem fled because of them. At the who? Inhabitants of Jerusalem fled because of them. The inhabitants of Jerusalem, the real people that land belongs to, left because the white man is the devil. The same way D.C. is Chocolate City, it used to be. Where all the, where all the black people go out of D.C.? We fleeing. We fleeing going to Northern Virginia, Alexandria, or we going to Sea Pleasant, District Heights, Capitol Heights. We fleeing because the white man has always been who he is. A thief, a murderer. Right. You understand? 
and we suffering the same thing we suffered in Greece. You understand? You understand? Give me Revelations 11 and 8. The Bible going to tell you, this place is Egypt. This place is Rome. This place is the land of our captivity. You understand? What we suffer now is not new. And that's why we are so foolish not to pick up this Bible. Because the Bible chronicles the history of when we went through this before. You think this is the first time we watched black men get murdered in the streets? You think this is the first time we watched our sisters abort our babies? You think this is the first time we watched the American government conspire against our people and put drugs in our communities and turn our sons gay and our daughters to lesbians? It's not the first time. But the problem is, we don't look to the times it was before in the Bible to know how to combat it. You understand? Read that. Revelation chapter 11 verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street. The Bible says our dead bodies shall lie in the street. The same way our bodies lie dead in America. They killed Andre Hill for nothing. They killed Breonna Taylor for nothing. They killed George Floyd for nothing. And listen, the white man is such a devil. The whole trial, they tried to find a way to blame it on George Floyd. Well, you know he got high. Right. Well, you know he was a, he's a drug addict. Right. Well, you know he was a porn star and he slept with white women. Nobody ever does that when the white man is, when a white man is murdered or a white woman go missing. Did they do that when the, um, uh, the Twin Towers was bombed? When the Osama bin Laden killed 3,000 white Americans, we didn't go, well, you know, America, you know, they are thieves. You know, they, they did steal black people back in 1619. Nobody read America's rap sheet when this place was destroyed. But whenever we suffer, they want to turn the blame on us. Our dead bodies lie dead in the streets. Keep reading. Of the great city. Of the what? Great city. Anybody know what the great city is? I'll help you. Donald Trump got elected with what phrase? Make America great again. That's Donald Trump got elected into office with no political experience. No military experience. Halfway out of his damn mind. And white people put him in office because he promised them to make this nation, this great city, great again. And the Bible is talking about the same place. The Bible is prophesying us being dead in the streets in America. You know why? Because America is not our original land. America is not the place where we should be comfortable and settle down. America is the land of our captivity. And the moment we start to realize that, we will look to find out how can we be free. Truly free. Keep reading. Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. The Bible calls America spiritually Sodom and Egypt. If you know anything about the Bible, Sodom and Gomorrah was famous for allowing homosexuals to thrive. The entire city was filled with homosexuality. And guess what God did to that city? He destroyed it, man. He burnt it to the ground because black culture is not to be gay. I know the white man is pushing it on our people so hard. They want to see strong black men be weak and effeminate and drug addicts so they don't stand up and fight against oppression for their people. Guess what? The Bible's against homosexuality. So that's why God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. And God calls America Sodom because America allows everything that Sodom and Gomorrah did. America teaches your children to be confused. They don't want to teach your children the history of slavery, but they want to teach them about transsexuals. They want to allow transsexuals to go to the library and read to your kids with dogs on. But we can't learn about slavery, what you did to our people. That's why God says this is Sodom and what else? And Egypt. And Egypt. Ooh, we. I know all you black folks out there, you blackity black, I'm black, y'all Negroes love Kemet and love Hotep and Hemotep and Sarah suit and Seti and all that garbage. <laughs> I know y'all love Egypt when you don't understand. The same way America is the land of our captivity, Egypt was at one point the land of our captivity. That's right. We built those pyramids not as pharaohs, but as slaves. Right. The same way we built America, not as citizens, but as slaves. And that's why the Bible calls this place Sodom and Egypt. And guess what happened to both of those places? God just damn right, bro. Give the brother a hand. God destroyed it. Listen, black man, you take your spirit out of America because God is going to destroy this place. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
Sparks Eats. I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious. Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you, but it's four of us. They always scream squad, but loyalty just mean more to us. Let the 40s bust when it's time unleash the hunters. I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners. Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners. Soldiers in abundance, marching in by the hundreds. We don't hold no punches, we letting them go in bunches. Crawled up out the dungeons and that we do with you monkeys. Waiting on a hater to flex, we doing lunges. Rappers better give me respect, this beat punished. Really, I don't worry about credit or where it's due. Just know your favorite rapper, told it, I'm number two. Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo. Call me Tyler War or even call me the Jew. Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule. Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool. Only real spitters can wait in this type of water. A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter. 